Marie Confie! The longings of home are heard through my native Cremanti tongue, the language where our colorful songs are sung. Let me introduce myself. Medinde Nicole, je suis né en Jamaïque, born on Jamaica's beautiful soil, a product of my ancestors' trial and toil. Grandy Nanny's warrior spirit strengthened our foundation as we fought against the imperialistic British nation. Maroon blood runs through my veins. I was birthed on Port Antonio's mountains where we fled to escape the chains. Like you, I am maroon. See, honey, our stories aren't that different. Passed down by Africa and oral tradition, her labor pains formed the Caribbean. And we are its children. Let's journey together now as brother and sister. I am the granddaughter of a windward maroon chief, but for so long we blamed the wrong thief. Slavery shackles enslaving a nation, a country's prostitution. Capitalistic rummaging of our lands, from the beginning an evil seated plan. But our struggle was never really against those people who regarded our people as cattle. No, those were just outward expressions of a spiritual battle. Let Ephesians 6.12 open our eyes. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual forces and powers of this dark world. Way before a slave master's whip or an overcrowded slave ship, it began with Adam and Eve. Digesting the fruit of sin, infecting humanity with satanic calamity, we forgot that God was able, exchanged drums of praise for the rhythm of Cain. I said, we forgot that God was able, exchanged drums of praise for rhythms of Cain. Searched for idols to numb our pain. Beyond our shared seas and our African matriarch, it was God's breath that gave the Caribbean our spark. From our resilience to our strength. But just like Israel, we often stray at high prices. See, every nation seems to suffer from an identity crisis. Vibrant freedom songs, dances full of energy, Akian salt fish, grill and banan, food that nourishes the spirit. We will continue to celebrate our culture, but recognize the vulture, the enemy that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Haiti's voodoo and Jamaica's obia are not who we are. Don't be don't fall for the deception that these perversions are woven into our fabric. Let's not glorify the enemy and make him a star. Beyond all else, we share a creator. Our greatest bond is that we all need a savior. I pray we revive an exodus of our souls, hand in hand, as our story unfolds. So again, from my maroon heart and tongue to yours, remember that God is God, Enora, Nay, and Afibo, yesterday, today, and forever. Woo!